Well, now to continuing coverage. The search for Brian Laundry continues. The FBI says it's scaling back large searches to focus on more specific ones based on intelligence. For the first time, both the biological and step parents of 22 year old Gabby Petito speaking out publicly, donning new tattoos in honor of their late daughter. She's with us. She's with us. She's with us. They're praying for justice and announcing the creation of the Gabby Petito Foundation that will give resources and guidance to the families of missing people. We're just hoping that uh, through our tragedy uh, with losing Gabby, that in the future, that. Uh, some good can come out of it. Gabby's death ruled a homicide by the coroner, and the search continues for her boyfriend, 23 year old Brian Laundry, who's a person of interest in the case. FBI agents returning to the Laundry family home in Florida requesting some of Brian's things to assist them with DNA matching. Collective rewards for information leading to his capture now top $30,000. His parents say he was last seen two weeks ago, just three days after Gabby was reported missing. For Brian, we're asking you to turn yourself in to the FBI or the nearest law enforcement agency. Utah police releasing the phone call from a 911 dispatcher explaining what witnesses saw on August 12th in Moab when Gabby and Brian got into a heated argument. Officers called to the scene. RP states seen a male hit a female domestic. Officers say laundry was driving erratically before they pulled the couple over. Subject says hit the curb. Police separated them for the night. August 25th was the last time Gabby's parents spoke with her. Over the weekend, hundreds gathered in Gabby's Long Island hometown for her funeral. Authorities are still conducting an autopsy to determine her exact cause of death. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.